We got speakers, horns, tweeters. We got a blank door panel. We are about to build some fiberglass door panels. Before we start building, we need to go buy a couple of things that we need in order to get these door panels built. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna build the door panels. So maybe you guys can go ahead and give it a shot and build your custom fiberglass door panels for your speakers. Let's get it. You guys ready for that new project? Man, let's check it out real quick. Hands, horns, tweeters, door panels. Yes, if you guys can guess. Now you already know we're gonna drop that loud pack on these door panels, guys. We are gonna go ahead and put three tens of these PRV Altos in this door, as well with two horns, one tweeter. We're gonna have to work our magic, as we'll see later on in the videos to come. Now we're gonna whip these things up and then drop that sauce on them. Now these are gonna be some simple door panels. They're not gonna go too crazy. Uh, we are just doing fiberglass and laying carpet. A lot of people hit me up on the DMs, dropping comments. Hey, I wanna uh, watch some door panels videos. How do I start my door panels off? Your boy is here to give you guys some answers. For you guys to build some door panels like these in your driveway or in your backyard, we're gonna be building those door panels right here in this very spot. It has been so hot lately, guys. It's perfect weather to do some door panels. Man, I got the car cooling up real quick because it's so hot. Let's not waste no time. Man, let's get to Home Depot. Then we're gonna go to Walmart to pick up a couple things that I need as well too to build the door panels. Let's get to work, let's get it. few moments later. Just got to Home Depot. I need to get some wood because I do need to make some speaker rings and some rings for the horns and the tweeters. And then we are gonna check out a couple other tools that you guys could use and purchase here at Home Depot to get some door panels done. I always come into the lumber section because man, that's my favorite section. That's where the wood's at. Go ahead and get this cart, get this wood. Um, this is kind of stiff. So you got your birch wood people use to build boxes. You got another type of plywood as well too. Then got MDF right here. This is my favorite. That's where we will be building the rings out of. Another uh, wood that I like, sandy plywood. It's uh, 23 by 30 seconds, uh, four by eight sheet. Man, this stuff right here is badass. It works good with boxes, but it is not friendly with the router. Since I will be doing uh, my rings out of MDF, when I go ahead and hit it with my router bit, man, it's gonna give me a really nice uh, finish after it gets done. But your boy doesn't need that big old four by eight sheet. So I am doing uh, a total of six tens, uh, four horns and two tweeters. Uh, this simple two by four MDF uh, piece of wood right here will actually do the job. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the three quarter two by four MDF piece. That's gonna get all the rings that I need. Let me get my cart real quick. We're gonna load that guy up. This is all your boy needs to go ahead and make these speaker rings. Man, I just love MDF, man. It's nice and smooth. And like I said, I'm gonna cut the rings out with my jigsaw, then come back and hit it with the router bit, round over bit. And man, these rings are gonna look badass. Even though the door panels are getting carpeted and they won't have to go into much detail with sanding, man, I'm gonna still make these things look good underneath. After your boy gets done with these door panels, and I'm gonna come back and scoop up probably at least like four or five sheets of MDF and get started on this Overado stunt wall, man whole new build on the Silverado. It's gonna be insane. Go show you the rest of the stuff that you can use to build door panels at your house. So here's some other stuff that you could use to go ahead and build your door panels. I actually like to get my hot glue gun and my glue sticks from Walmart just because it's the Gorilla Glue. But I'm sure this one, this glue gun and these glue sticks would work just as fine. But man, that Gorilla Glue guys, it is definitely on point. But either or, man, it'll work. Two other key players in the door panel build are going to be my router, which I got at the house. I got a Makita palm router that is the one that I always use and then I actually have this Ryobi jigsaw and this thing I have built a lot of badass loud stuff with it so never doubt the one it's only a hundred bucks but man listen 
I built some stuff with it. I've definitely built some stuff with it, but hopefully probably here soon, I will step it up and get me a DeWalt, probably a cordless. I do want to go cordless with everything. For this build, I am going to go ahead and use the roundover bit, which is this guy right here, because I create my lips so I can go ahead and staple my fleece. I'll show you what the fleece is later on in the video, uh, but this will just make my ring look so much better and have me that step lip that I need to attach my fleece to it. Obviously, we will need jigsaw blades to go ahead and cut the wood rings out. Um, man, I just like to, you know, chop right through it since it is going to be carpet and don't have to be perfect, but my hole still needs to be good so the speakers can fit. You know, the bigger teeth will be better. Uh, but if you just really want that precise cut, man, definitely use the ones with the more teeth on it. It's always going to get the job done. I love the Diablo brand just because, man, I put these things to work and I know it's always going to get the job done no matter what. Now I cut my rings out with a jigsaw if I do carpet. Um, if I go ahead and do like vinyl or fiberglass, I get my friend to cut it on a CNC machine. But I know sometimes people use like the jigs or something like that. I don't know if they actually have one here to do the perfect cutout for the rings. Or they use a router table, guys. But I'm going to tell you right now, your boy does not like a router table. I love my fingers. And man, if you get the job done with cutting out with the jigsaw and then hitting it with the router with the roundover bit, man, so be it like safety first man you don't want to mess your stuff up if you feel that you are advanced with using tools man definitely use a router table or use a jig it's going to work out for the best but if you're a beginner and wanting to know how to start building door panels and you're going to do it yourself man the jigsaw is the best way to go and then if you feel comfortable go ahead and use the router pretty much got everything that i need our next stop is walmart if you want to learn how to build some door panels and watch all these next few videos that i'm fixing to drop off videos are going to be dope and you'll learn a lot man a few minutes later i might be some wood but man we need to go ahead and invest in a work truck and your boy's gonna have to fold the seats down in order to get this guy in man just like they want three tens on the doors man we're gonna make it work just like right here we're gonna make this work right now there you go there she is one piece of wood but man she's still taking up part of the back seat so i just made it to walmart man we're about to go inside show you all the little things that you could buy here from walmart that'll help you get your door panels built just simple materials and it's going to get the job done So I am building the door panels out of fiberglass. I do need a mixing cup because we do have mixed fiberglass resin and MKP in order for it to react and get the door panels hard after we lay the fleece down. So I will need one mixing cup. We do have drop cloth here. If you guys are fiberglassing in an area where you don't want it to get dirty or get uh, droppings of the fiberglass resin on the floor because it will be a pain to get it off. So the drop cloth is good. I do not like to get fiberglass resin on my uh, fingers, so gloves are a must. We'll need some acetone, guys, because after you lay some fiberglass resin, I like to give a bath on the fiberglass door panel so it get the stickiness off. But, you know, if you tend to mix the fiberglass resin with the MAKP right, it will barely get sticky, but at the same time, I still like to give it its bath on the acetone, and the acetone is good to clean off your tools and your hands in case you get something on it. If I were to be building some door panels and I didn't want the top part to get ruined, um, I'd have to get some of this duct tape, probably tape it up and or that drop cloth as well too, just to protect it from it getting any fiberglass resin slung on it. So duct tape or tape, masking tape is always good to have. Paint brushes are a must in this project. So here you actually have some fiberglass resin. Although we are doing fiberglass door panels, I got the plug on resin, acetone, and sandpaper. But man, here at Walmart, you can pick all that stuff up. Um, I know I've had to come and pick up some resin because I needed to get something done in a clutch and I couldn't wait uh, the time to get the resin that I get. So the Walmart fiberglass resin, it is good. They also got the acetone, which is really, really good too. They got the Bondo in case you need something really fast. Bondo spreaders, fiberglass mat right here, which we'll be using a little bit on it. And they got all the sandpaper here. One thing that I will say, guys, I know they make products that make things a lot faster. They do this and they do that. But some of you guys are at home building this and you guys are beginners. And to be doing trial and error on stuff that costs a little bit of money, you come into Walmart and pick some stuff up and give it a try. Man, all this stuff that I'm telling you would always come in handy. Um, for you guys to get your projects done if it's your first time doing it. Now let's go to the fabric department and I'm going to show you the other stuff that you can go ahead and use to get your door panels done. 
All right, like I said earlier, when we were at Home Depot, man, the glue guns and the glue sticks there probably work pretty good. And if you just want to buy everything there at Home Depot at one shot, man, go ahead. But your boy loves this Gorilla Glue gun and the Gorilla Glue sticks, man. It'll stick like crazy. And man, it hasn't left, you know, it hasn't let me down yet. So it is definitely worth it. They got the different sizes, everything that you need. Um, they don't have the bigger uh, sticks, but they do got them. The recommended product for you guys to use, man. I put money on it that once you use the Gorilla Glue Gun and the Gorilla Glue Sticks, you're not going to want to go back. When I go ahead and mix my fiberglass resin, I just use these craft sticks right here to go ahead and mix it up. They're just so dirt cheap, guys, and they do the job. The last product we're going to go over, guys, is the fleece. Uh, they got thicker, thinner uh, fleece, but guys, this is what actually gives us the look and shape of our door panels. Uh, it determines how the door panel is going to look from uh, lifting, dropping our wood rings when we get them building them. This fleece right here, once it actually gets attached to the door and the wood rings that we are going to lay on the door panels, we put our fiberglass on it. Um, and after a while, man, this thing gets solid like a rock. And here at Walmart, guys, they have all different types of fleeces. We like blanket material. But your boy always uses, you know, the simple colors. Either way you go, guys, it's going to get your door panels done. Pretty much all the stuff that you need from here from Walmart. You purchase the stuff at your local Walmart. It's going to get your door panels done. Right, since I'm back at the house, let's go over how I'm going to go ahead and build these door panels because we were on about and I was just scattering so many things everywhere. But we're going to go into the process of how I'm going to build these door panels so you guys can understand it and maybe give it a shot and build your door panels at your crib. Our piece of 2x4 MDF that we bought, we are going to go ahead and get our template for our 10 inch ring because we are doing three tens on the door panel along with two horns and one tweeter on the door panel itself. Go ahead and cut some wood rings out and draw out six wood rings on this piece of wood. I'm gonna go ahead and get my jigsaw, cut those guys out. And now I do have these wood rings for tweeters and I probably will just curve them out just so they can look pretty good and set on with the tweeter. And then we are gonna come back with the remaining uh, part of the wood, draw out a couple of horn rings and cut those guys out. After those rings are cut out, then I'm gonna get my router, go ahead and swap that bit out and put, put my round over bit to it so it can create a lip so I can attach my fleece to it. So once the rings got its lip, I'm gonna go ahead and cut small wood stands to position the rings out. So there'll probably be a 10 here, a 10 there and a 10 here. Then we'll have a tweeter between the 10s and then I'll come back with the wood rings and we'll put like a horn right here and then a horn over here or somewhere where we can fit this guy at. Then with my staple gun, I'm gonna use that to attach the fleece to the wood rings and then uh, the fleece to the actual door. I am gonna probably just use this edge line just because I do not want it to interfere with thickness when he shuts the door. So I think these doors are like cardboard, so I think the staple will grab it pretty good. Then we're gonna come back, fiberglass the door panel We'll probably lay uh, probably like three good cups on each door panel just to get it really rock hard and solid. That is done and covered with the fiberglass resin. We're gonna come back and sand it. Uh, since it is getting carpet, it doesn't require a lot of sanding and bondo. We just need to make sure that it is good and the door uh, is got like no rough surfaces or hard dips. So when we wrap it with the carpet, the carpet's gonna be so thick, you can never even tell that there's fiberglass underneath it. It's gonna look really, really clean. And these, these door panels are going to be the most simplest things that you guys could possibly build. Door panels made out of uh, fiberglass and carpet, guys. Um, it's a walk in the park. Um, it is going to probably be tough if you guys, if it's your first time working with fiberglass resin and doing door panels. But after you build some door panels made out of carpet, guys, man, it is a breeze. Now, if you were to be doing door panels that are going to be fiberglass painted or fiberglass wrapped in vinyl, yes, you do have to go into detail with sanding, bondo, yada, yada, yada. And it's going to take a lot more time. But with it being carpet, guys, man, that it should take us probably like... On the day we sand should be the day that we wrap in carpet and the door panels are done. So definitely stay tuned for the next video, guys. We're going to get to building. So catch us on the next one, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like, man. And I'll see you, man. Don't forget, watch the videos.